Welcome to the Suerte del Molino farm, Andalusia in Spain. Here we are in nature. For us it means the sun, the rain, the earth, the plants, the animals, and then the humans. And we see what we can do with and together with all those elements. Here we have a shaft. It goes down about two or three meters. And then higher up. This is a canal. Higher up there is a, another shaft. And there must have been another one where this road is now. This road was a tiny road and then during the time of the dictator Franco he set aside some highways throughout the country as how he would see the future development of this country. During his reign he instructed the people in his socialistic capital uh, sorry socialistic um, communistic system to do things for instance our previous house uh, an old house had no kitchen because people were told to eat together in the plaza he had to see where they are and uh, they had to build roads, they had to build dams. Now this structure was most probably built by the Moors. And then that road was made over the next shaft. And uh, it was never developed as a major road, it's still a country road. So I can talk about a part of this Kanat system. So what really happened is that what really happened is some Moor, an engineer, came here and he saw some fountains, found some fountains, or a fountain, and then uh, this is already on a map that is more than 600 years old, a green wet spot here. So somehow the Kanat system has nothing to do with the creek. They might work together, but somehow it was not designed to work together. So this engineer will find a wet spot here. And then he will instruct the team. I don't know how they were organized. Why he could get hold of workers. Maybe against payment, I hope to dig a horizontal entrance and follow this water and then they keep going on top of bedrock. Let me go and have a look at bedrock. Okay, here I'm in the creek. This is bedrock. So they will follow this bedrock and the water 
and keep digging until they find the place where this water is exposed from an aquifer under the bedrock above the bedrock and then they have a an ample supply a huge stream of water so i think originally they started somewhere there where the dog is or a little bit further and they started digging now the I went into that shaft, came out in this shaft. I can walk upright last year in the drought. And this carries on and it became much smaller. Maybe some uh, construction debris from the road got into the system. And I was too scared to carry on. So to be able to work, they worked, they made it in the size that they could walk upright and they would follow this deeper and deeper until they find the source of the water on top of the bedrock and here they had the shafts that they could pull out the dirt and also for fresh air for the people working down there so there must be the shaft must carry on sorry this um, canal this system this tunnel system must carry on with another shaft that I cannot find okay let me go back to the beginning this is an open canal now covered with uh, stinging nettles and brambles and things like that and let me swing around this was the opening the mouth of this canal system now there is a cistern that collects the water but the water used to pour from here into the canal so this tunnel went from here because it is about two meters below what we see here all the way somewhere else which I don't know where to find a good source of water directed through this tunnel through this canal to irrigate whatever they wanted to irrigate this is the other side of the canal that I showed earlier there is the creek so they were flowing side by side this one from water on the surface of the land and this canal used to flow from water subterranean aquifer water that was tapped into it came down here and then where the white sandbags are the canal there's still a stone wall for the canal cut in there and I'll show you what is there I'm now on the other side of these sandbags and the dogs are frustrated they are in and I'm out and the canal used to come through here that way and then over there is a distribution box that water reached that point and from there it was taken in various canals in to that lower area over there this is the same place the same structure where the water came into and there is a walled garden huge it's about 10 hectares 
and uh, this water used to irrigate all of this from the Kanat. Okay, I hope this explains something. This was a community question. Please keep asking. And here we have the modern irritation system. I have worked many hours and I have made no progress. Let's have a look. Here next to the house is a 40 millimeter pipe that comes from the water tank up there and I had a 32 millimeter in here and I wanted to upgrade it to a bigger pipe. This job I have now done four times and it's still not working. Okay, this is the source of the irritation. I have imperial size, I've got metric size, I've got metric imperial combinations. Then I have two different manufacturers producing more or less the same thing. I have inherited a fruit salad of all of this. For instance, in this case, let me see this one. Here we have a, have a deep groove. It takes an O-ring and one of these washers to fit in there. And then the other side doesn't have a deep groove. It takes a different O-ring, a different washer, this one is too big, smaller one. And so I had to learn. That is what it is. Then I have, I'm not sure what these things are called, uh, different shapes, different sizes. So until I have the right combination, it leaks. And here I have, this is a screw-in connection, and this is a solid connection. The example where I worked for several hours and it's still leaking, I have one of these and it is imperial to metric and it keep kicking out leaking here so and then i have 50 millimeters and i have 40 and anyway uh, i have now made a list of things i want to buy tomorrow i'll start with one system start fresh I initially thought I won't use all these old things, but uh, I thought, why not? Now I know why not. And just around the corner, I have the hard-working farmer's wife. She collected all the peas. This bag was full. Started to take out the valuable part. Some of them are dry, some of them are wet. And uh, some we will keep, keep as seeds, others we will use. This goes to the compost. Hard working lady. <laughs> so, tomorrow is day two. Let's see if I can transform the irritation system into an irrigation system. Till the next time, goodbye.